people are changing, becoming more practical minded. They're taking a more serious look at the vehicles they buy. Is it functionally designed? Is it built to last? Is it comfortable and safe to drive? These are the kinds of questions often asked today. More than ever before, people are willing to look at alternatives to the traditional family car. Scout vehicles fit right in with this practical philosophy. The challenge is this. They're not the only ones that do. The competition is fierce, and it's going to get even tougher. Scout vehicles can take it if you can. They are the best designed, best built, and best serviced vehicles of the breed. The 1979 Scout II. Rugged as ever. Versatile as ever. This is the Scout that most of your customers will come in to see. The 1979 Scout Traveler. A classic beauty with power, endurance, performance, and plenty of extra room. The 1979 Scout Terra. Nimble enough to follow a Scout II up a mountain trail, yet hefty enough for pickup type payloads. The versatile Terra is in a class by itself. And the 1979 Scout SS2, the lean, tough champion that has captured the attention of the most gutsy off-roaders. The SS2 is a winner, and its reputation should help you when it comes to marketing other Scouts. It's going to be a colorful year for Scouts, with nine colors to choose from, five of them brand new for 79. Tahitian Red Metallic, Mint Green, Lexington Blue, Persimmon, Sunburst Yellow. Here, you can see the new Mint Green with the Rally applique. All of the two-tone appliques will continue to be available. And to complement those bold, good looks on the outside, the 1979 Scouts have a lot that's new on the inside. Black is the new standard color. Here shown with the optional bucket seats. Black should go better with those blues and greens. Deluxe and custom interiors are more attractive than ever. These handsome buckets are showing off the new Highland Blue. Multi-purpose vehicles rarely look this good. The russet interior is going to help you sell a lot of Scouts, either in the bucket seat option or the one-third, two-thirds combination. A Scout like this says, come on in, there's plenty of room for more. Pillow seats are new this year, and you can get them in deluxe or custom Scouts. Available in either black or tan for both bench and bucket seats. The inviting, thickly padded pillow seats provide cushioned comfort for those long hours on the road. A simulated vinyl headliner is included on travel tops with the custom interior package. Custom interiors are more plush now than ever and more practical too. The lower part of each door panel is covered with carpeting and there's a handy map pocket on both the driver's and passenger side. The console lid has been redesigned into four convenient wells. Those two round wells are perfect for cups or cans. On the dashboard of deluxe or custom scouts, you'll find that the old wood grain trim has been discontinued in favor of a new burnished or engine turned look. When the folding rear seat is ordered, we now provide two rear seat ashtrays mounted on the side panels of the Scout. Free speaker stereo is new this year. The AM FM stereo radio and the 8-track tape player sound better than ever for 79. Today, salespeople must look beyond the traditional off-road 4x4 markets. Sure, the hunters, campers, and fishermen will continue to purchase scouts and similar 4x4s. But according to the latest research, most people who purchase scout vehicles will do so for practical reasons. Studies show that 90% of the sales will be to a family of two or more. In three out of four cases, these folks will never have owned a sports utility vehicle before. The decision to buy or not to buy a Scout 
will be made by both men and women together. They'll be looking for a basic, dependable vehicle that will go anywhere, in any weather. And they'll find it in the Scout. They'll be practical people, looking for an alternative to the automobile that is not only versatile, but is also well-built, rugged, safe, and long-lasting. Don't underestimate the importance of selling the Scout to both him and her. You've got to sell them both on the advantages of the Scout, or you may not sell the Scout. Chances are, they'll be looking at the new Scout too. For most buyers, this is the most practical choice. Of course, there are special cases, like the Scout Terra, for business or pleasure hauling. The Scout SS2, for four-wheeling fun. Or the Scout Traveler, when more room is needed, or if there's a big trailer to tow. In any case, before discussing options with the buyer, sell the basic Scout first. By comparing the basic Scout to the basic models of the competition, it will be easier to show the quality and superiority of the International Scout. For it is a superior product. Unlike AMC, GM, Chrysler, and Ford, International doesn't build automobiles. Every International vehicle is designed without compromise to be a rugged and reliable workhorse, designed to be the best of the breed. By now, you should be familiar with the basic selling sequence. First, evaluate the buyers and their specific family needs. Then, present the International as the best possible answer to those needs. You'll want to make sure they understand the advantages of the Scout. Locking hubs, for example, for better fuel economy. And the convenience of optional automatic locking hubs. But you can't do it all in the showroom. You've got to take a demonstration drive. Be sure to select the type of Scout and drive the kinds of terrain that are suited to your customer's interests. You take the wheel initially for the first part of the drive, and then give your prospects a try. Riding in the Scout is one thing, driving it is a whole lot more. During the demonstration drive, point out how responsibly the Scout handles, how smoothly it rides. Tell customers that now that they've driven a Scout, it's going to be hard to settle for anything less. The demonstration drive is one of your most effective steps to a successful sale. Give customers sufficient time to get comfortable with the Scout. The next step in the sequence is carefully listening to what your customers have to say. You'll be answering any questions they still have on their minds and overcoming any objections that may happen to be raised. At the very least, you can part on friendly terms and plan a definite time to meet again. But you really should be pushing for much more than this, before these customers get away. Encourage prospects to make their decision. Do all you can to close the sale. And when you have closed the sale, there's more to be done. For however satisfied your customers seem with their brand new Scout, it is still important later to follow up that sale. One or two phone calls is all it takes to make sure they're happy with their Scout. Speaking of buyers, it's a good idea to update your contact prospecting list at every opportunity because you can't depend on walk-in traffic. Every time you sell a new or used Scout, add the buyer's name, address, and vehicle information to your list. The contact computer printout will then automatically provide you with a list of Scout prospects each month so that you can direct your mailers to the buyers that really count. Now let's review the main selling points of the International Scout. In good design, form follows function, and the Scout is an exceptional example of this. Its body style is as lean and trim as it needs to be to get through and around where the competition could never go. The Scout's construction is as solid and durable as it has to be to withstand carrying cargo off the road as well as on. It's an International quality built, with the kind of attention to detail that is rare these days. Details you can see, like this heavy gauge double wall construction, 
this one hand operated tailgate with heavy metal straps. Details hidden underneath, like heavy duty springs, power disc brakes, a front stabilizer bar as standard equipment, and a full length box frame chassis for strength and rigidity. And when you're speaking of strength, you can show customers the certification label on the door frame of a Scout. The figure to look at is the gross vehicle weight rating of 6,200 pounds. This means that its axles, springs, and tires can support, in addition to the 4,000 pound Scout, more than 2,000 additional pounds of cargo. Properly equipped, Scout vehicles can tow even more than that, up to 5,000 pounds of cargo. Make no mistake about it, these machines are tough. Tough outside and tough inside too. The ashtray is an interesting example. Customers may be amazed to find that the Scout's large metal ashtray slides in and out on four ball bearings. Like everything else in the Scout, it's designed to work smoothly and built to last. All the interior appointments are nothing but the best in design, construction, and in comfort too, with a wide variety of options to choose from. The back end of the Scout is built for easy hauling. The loading height couldn't be more ideal. The optional rear seat folds forward and is protected from the cargo by a strong metal plate. The Scout too has 82 cubic feet of capacity and the Scout Traveler has more than a hundred. Scout accessories fill a 30 page book. A host of special features can be added to any Scout from the popular roof rack through a range of accessories designed for on or off road use. Performance is certainly a selling point with the Scout. Engines are designed by truck people for power and economy to match that hefty gross vehicle weight rating mentioned before. There's plenty of torque for hauling and off-road use. And the nimble Scout can really get up and go. Economy doesn't stop with the engine. Every 4x4 travel top, Terra and Traveler is equipped with locking hubs so that engine power that isn't needed isn't wasted. And speaking of fuel economy, how about diesel power? Scout's Nissan Diesel was introduced three years ago and has proven itself to be an exceptional power plant. International, of course, has had long experience with diesels. Functional design, quality construction, comfort, convenience, and performance. The Scout puts it all together on the road and comes through with flying colors off the road. It is safe and easy to handle in city traffic and a lot easier to park than the traditional full-sized car. Like the rest of the IH family, the Scout is built to be tough and durable. After all, it is an international designed and manufactured by the people who produce more heavy-duty trucks than any other company in America. This is a fine heritage, one you can present to customers with pride. It's a heritage that produces good, practical, no-nonsense design. And a heritage that produces winners. SS2s are winning and proving themselves at Riverside, on the Baja Peninsula, and at other off-road events. Experience? International has more than 20 years experience with four-wheel drive and many an original first-generation Scout is still going strong. Service? You bet. Six regional IH parts distribution centers are linked together by a computer for rapid availability of replacement parts. To maintain and protect their investment, Scout owners can expect nothing but the best. And it is a wise investment one that will keep on performing and maintain its value for many years to come. People are changing. Becoming more practical minded. The Scout is ready and waiting for them. With knowledge and experience, you lead the way. <laughs>